Hey, how's it going everyone? Today we're going to be doing something a bit different. As some of you know, Dragon Ball is definitely one of the top passions I have alongside with Naruto. And with Dragon Ball in my life and its impacts I had in my life, allowed my creativity and characteristics build for who I am today. In addition to Dragon Ball's impacts, this brings up the video I decided to make today, which is a transformation tier list. In my own opinion, I'll be rating my favorite transformations in Dragon Ball growing up, from S being the highest and D being the lowest. If you guys would like me to do more of Dragon Ball content on my thoughts on certain topics of Dragon Ball or even Naruto, leave a comment below and I'll probably do it in a future video. Before we begin, be sure to leave a like and subscribe and follow my socials in the description below. Now play my intro. just letting you guys know it's thundering it is thundering perfect time to record right when I felt like recording now the perfect timing to record and lovely 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 timing for a lot of things but that's not gonna stop me from making this video if you guys want to do one of these tier videos or whatever I'll leave a link to this website in the description below you can download it or whatever I have it like this. I organized it myself from the chronological order from Dragon Ball to Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, and then Super. So, we're going to start it off right now with the Great Ape. The Great Ape Goku or Great Ape Gohan. When I first seen this happen back in the day, I was like, whoa, what the hell? This actually gave me a big impact when I first saw it because I was like, I don't know, I've never seen this before, like, back when I was younger, Toonami started off with Dragon Ball Z, then it started with Dragon Ball, and then it switched back to Dragon Ball Z, you guys know that little, it's a lot of stuff to get into, but I started with Dragon Ball Z, and then I jumped to Ball, and then back to Z, then I finished Z, and then I watched Dragon Ball, then went back to Z, there's a lot of, yeah, it, it's, it was complicated, but yeah, I've watched Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. And when I seen Dragon Ball and I seen this moment happen, it caught me off guard because I didn't think, like I seen when the Great Ape happened in Dragon Ball Z when Gohan transformed, but literally when I seen this in Dragon Ball for the first time, I was like, chill. This was a significant moment. Like this brought up another level of something different and Dragon Ball is known for transformations, and when it comes to transformations, this is basically the foundation. So I'm going to put this on S tier rank, because I des this deserves, this is basically the foundation, so this deserves to be up here. Goku going Kaioken. We slept on... We've slept on this transformation very much a lot. Like, when, I don't know, I didn't have the same impact when I first seen this, I was like, whoa! chill and then when i saw like after he fought vegeta and the after effects it didn't come to me until i saw dragon ball z on like for the third time and i started realizing how much of a like was a use but a temporarily use but also a bad benefit because when he used this form basically called a stroke like he couldn't control his body his muscles started tearing up well depending on how long he uses it and he overused it because he needed that boost to destroy I said destroy, defeat Vegeta. So when I seen this, I don't know, it didn't give me a big impact, but it is a good boost, so B for boost. <laughs> Super Saiyan. Now Super Saiyan, this is something different. When I first seen this, I remember back in the day, because you know, y'all new generation don't remember these VR tapes. My TV, I had like a little small box TV and I used to like, when it was my bedtime when I was a kid, I used to record with the VR tapes, I think that's what it was called. It was those tapes that you were, you put a little tape in the TV and it would record a channel. So I remember I recorded this specific episode when I first seen this, and it was when Goku transformed. Yo, this, I watched this V, I don't know where this tape is. If I could find it, oh boy, I'm showing that to my future kids when I do have kids, because this was a moment. I really beasted for this. When I saw this, this is basically the foundation this is what blew up Dragon Ball, to be honest. This is what dragged all the attention to Dragon Ball, the Super Saiyan form. 
and when he went ah, with the th wow coincidences lightning thundering outside whatever the hell you want to call it and when that thunder strike lightning strike whatever you guys want to call it hit goku and he transformed yo it was over it was over this deserves an s rank super vegeta like i wish they made an episode of how he transformed it just showed it like it, it was just an off screen like he just came out of nowhere goku was fighting android 20 i think it was no 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 android i forgot what android it was i think it was 20 yeah i think it was 20 that little mind looking ass with the little peanut head whatever <laughs> When he was fighting Goku and Goku caught that little heart attack and Vegeta pulled up in the cut, he said, hold up, let me show you my true strength and transform to that Super Saiyan for the first time. He caught me off guard. I wish I could have seen that episode. Like, they gave, like, a special episode of how he did it. I know they showed an episode of him crying and beating the crap out of the floor and then now, I guess that's how he transformed. I'm gonna give that a B. And Super Trunks. Now, on the other hand, right here... When I seen Trunks do this, I thought, I don't know, when I was a kid, I thought he was turning into the legendary Super Saiyan in his own canon way. I don't know. I didn't think it was like that Super Saiyan grade 3 or grade 4, whatever they call it. I didn't think this was that at the time, but when I seen it, I was like, yo, chill, this is fire this is fire back in the day when i was younger trunks was always my favorite character for some reason it changed to goku as i got older so now i'm goku for life but when i seen this i was going crazy i'm gonna give it an a because this gave this was the time and moment where trunks surpassed his dad for the for a temporary moment you know he was hiding all that power once he saw his dad get smoked he was like yo chill hold up i'm about to hold this weight and then he started smoking cell and then cell you know played his ass and just smoked him and you know humbled his ass next is super saiyan 2 gohan this was the first time ever that gohan just like it was time to pass on the protagonist to gohan when cell stomped on android 16's head and you just saw that crush into his eyes and you just see gohan like what and then the, the birdie the birdie flew past his head and then whoosh, and then he transformed chill like he yo this was an awakening of something new we didn't know super saiyan was gonna get another level we didn't know that super saiyan 2 would exist and when gohan managed to do that and it happened i don't know this was another s tier rank for me super saiyan g3 this form is was so cool before super before and like yeah before super and while gt happened super saiyan 3 was known as the, one of the most powerfulest forms ever like but i know when back in the day when i was younger and in my country dr everybody used to go crazy for super saiyan 3 because it was the it was look just look at it like i know eyebrows got that xx action going on shout out to x and he got that long hair action when that happened like that scene when it first happened and he just screamed his lungs out had us all go crazy and i even have a video on my on my channel somewhere where my roblox character goes super saiyan 3 i don't know why i did that i just did it just for the heck of it just like i'm doing this but when i seen this i was going nuts it didn't reach to the you know super saiyan 1 tier but it got near there. I had like the same geeky moment as when I saw it in the trunk. So I'm gonna give it an A. Mystic Form Gohan or Potential Unleash. The many names of this base form looking full power Gohan. The moment when Gohan became top tier once again. And then after letting his confidence overcome him. He got too cocky. I don't know. I don't know. It was something with me that I liked the hair color change. Like... When their hair changed color, I was just like, wow. Like, that caught my eye. I don't know, the hair color changing, the eyes color, and the transformation. The transformations is the key of Dragon Ball. Whenever there's a transformation, we go crazy. And I, when I saw this form, it got me hyped because it just showed that Gohan was going to be nice again. But at the same time, it didn't, it didn't get to me. It just looked like he was just in his base form. But I like the way he, he handled Boo until he got too confident. I'm gonna give that a C. All right, now we on to that Dragon Ball GT. Fun fact, I've recently finished GT again. I've rewatched GT, like the full on episode, because I wanted to know, why is everybody saying GT is better than Super? Well, why is everybody saying Super is better than GT? That's a whole nother topic. If you guys want me to talk about that, I will. 
Just let me know in the comment section on what you want me to talk about next. All right, Golden Gorilla Man. When I seen Goku turn into this for the first time, yo, I don't know, I don't know. It didn't give me the same hype as the first time when I seen the Gorilla, but when I did see this, it reminded me of that time when Naruto became that four tails for the first time when this dude was eyes went pure red and his chest started and it was going crazy he was going crazy he was transformed that's the transformation right there i liked it because it was like a new transition because you've never seen a great ape super saiyan like that's crazy so when i seen that i was like chill this is hot that's that heat. it didn't give me that much of a big impact because i didn't really care as much but i will give it an a right there because it was something new and it was pretty cool Super Saiyan 4. I always thought, I don't know, for some reason I always got it mixed up because I thought Super Saiyan 4 was like already in the main continuity, but it wasn't. It's just PT. So that kind of blue balls me later on when I grew up and just realized that PT is not canon, which sucks because if you watch it, it was pretty cool. My opinion, I don't know. I, I love whatever Dragon Ball content, as you guys know, I love. So I don't care. I don't rate things. I don't know. I keep everything. If it's a part of the story, like Heroes, I mean, Heroes is not as good as the regular storyline. But I like to see heroes. But when I seen Super Saiyan 4 happen, it was pretty dope. It's not one of those significant transformations that had me like, wow, I want this to happen again. I am going to miss this form because this form is GT. You know, you can't say Super Saiyan 4 without thinking about GT. So I'm just going to give it an A because, you know, I like that. I, I like this form. This form was pretty cool. Do I have to get into this? Do I have to get into this? Super Saiyan God. Oh my God. That's getting an S. Why is it getting an S because it is my favorite form of all time and also this revived Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball when this movie came out it gave us all hope like we all believed that Dragon Ball was coming back because we had GT and then AF and then all these fan stuff. When we got this movie this literally told us we're gonna get another series. I'm gonna give Blue a. I don't like blue that much. I'm gonna be fair. Blue is cool and blue says how strong, you know, it just shows that Goku and Vegeta are gods now. Like they've reached a new level. Like now they surpassed and mastered God. Like that is freaking awesome. Like, I don't know. And the design of blue is pretty cool. Like, I don't, I don't know. It just felt like another color palette. Other than like Goku, when he went God, his eyes look different. Like you see his his pupils are different. He got skinnier. It's red. His aura is glowing orange, red, and yellow in a way. Like that's different. That's so cool. Blue is just, it looks like another ripoff. Like it looks like another Super Saiyan, but just blue. Kaioken. Kaioken Blue. He first did it when he fought Hit, right? I believe he did it when he first fought Hit. When I seen it, when he fought Hit, it was pretty cool. I loved to see it. Like, when I saw it, it was awesome. When he did the Kamehameha, oh, well, when he transformed, surprise, time skipping. At the time, the animation was beginning to get better, but I don't know. I just, it didn't hit me that much. But seeing Kaioken being resurrected and used again was pretty cool, but not can't. Ooh, that's a hard word to say because the manga never introduced Kaioken Blue. So that's kind of hard to say as well. So if you guys don't read the manga, you should. This never existed and never happened in the manga. So I don't know if I could technically count this as canon, but it is what it is. And in the manga, if you didn't know, it's mastered blue, like perfected blue. Like that's, that's the form, that's the Kaioken replacement in the actual manga. And if Dragon Ball Super comes back, I don't think Kaioken's gonna be used again. And if it does, then they're gonna have to they're gonna have to find a way to add it to make it special in its own way in the manga. I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna give this a B. Super Saiyan Jin Rose. 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 Can you roll your R's like that? To think about it now, like I see this form as like a just an evil version. I don't know, the character itself and the arc just that's when I got brought back into Super because I knew Super came back when I was in high school, but I didn't really watch it until it got to the ending of Dragon Ball Super. So I mean the ending of Dragon Ball Super. The ending of the Goku Black arc. But when I seen this live, like when I was watching it through the episodes and I got caught up, when I seen this, this was like this new character introduced, an evil Goku. We got an evil Goku, another fan 
a f another fan idea that Toriyama and Toei just added back into the series. Like, we got Turles, and we always making fan mangas, fan animation of an evil Goku. What if an evil Goku? And we got it here. And when we saw Super Saiyan Rose, I don't know, that purple and rose color was type 5. Like I said, it's just another Super Saiyan color palette. I'm gonna rate this a B. Super Saiyan Enraged. I think that's what they officially named it now. Remember what I said in the beginning? Trunks was my grow, like a kid, my kid favorite character. So when they brought Trunks back, that actually the episode when I saw it, like the ending of Trunks coming back, that caught me off guard when I was re-watching it, Dragon Ball, for the first time. Like, I was just watching, it was a filler, and then out of nowhere, we just see this cinematic crazy stuff that's going on in the future. And I'm like, whoa, what's going on? Don't tell me this is Trunks. And when we saw Trunks, it's crazy. So now jumping forward to when he got this transformation, it confused a lot of us. I actually thought he was going to go blue. Like, you see the blue aura over the Super Saiyan form. But when I seen this, my reaction was just like... Yo, he's going blue. This is so exciting. So when I seen this, this was exciting, but it doesn't make sense to me in a way because he was pissed, but why does he have blue aura over him? Doesn't make sense. So I'm gonna give that a B, Omen. Oh, this is bastard. Never mind. Oh man, Goku Ultra Instinct Omen. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I remember when I was in college, all the news and spoilers that were coming out every week of this new form that Goku was gonna get. And I remember that chocolate meme that everybody thought Goku was gonna go Super Saiyan Brown, where we was looking at some chocolate and everybody was going mad. Everybody was fiending. Everybody was trying to be the smartest freaking Dragon Ball research, whatever. Everybody was going hard and saying, I, and I fell for it. Everybody, yeah, I fell for it. I thought it, we was gonna get a Super Saiyan Brown or something like that. Because this form didn't come out until like three weeks, I think. After we saw that chocolate that they were selling, we thought that that was the form. But when this happened, like the model character for this, I went crazy. I was like, I loved it. I, I instantly loved it. I don't know what is it about, but when I see Goku with his regular hair, but something different, I don't know, something with the eyes. Like once his, when he did that transformation, like when it happened, I knew, I felt like it was coming. This dude, Goku throws a spirit bomb at Jiren, and Jiren's OP ass said, nah, get that shit out of here. Whew. Blew that shit right back to Goku. Goku blew up and died. I thought Goku died, to be honest. It's Goku. Of course he ain't gonna die. When I saw this, I went crazy. And when he did it again against Kefla. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, boy. This was fire. This was fire. So I'm giving this an S rank. Because that's a... This is a new beginning form to reaching a whole nother level. You know, surpassing the gods. You know, this is beginning to surpass the gods. This is not mastered. But this is something new that we got. Super Saiyan Jin Blue Evolution. I thought, we all thought, I know you thought as well, that Vegeta was going to get Ultra Instinct. When, when I seen this happen and go, Vegeta transformed into this, I think this was like an homage to when Vegeta became Super Vegeta. You know what I mean? When he came, became all that big brolic and stuff. When I seen Vegeta do this, I was like, chill, this is fire. And he, he looked cool and that new blue color that was this is Vegeta going his own pathway to his own form I don't know if this form is canon I don't think it's canon because I didn't we didn't see it in the movie and we also didn't see it I don't know if we saw it in the manga manga I don't think we saw that in the manga but if it is canon that would be awesome because this is Vegeta going to his own separate pathway choosing to not learn Ultra Instinct and going his own way mastered ultra instinct ultra instinct is my second favorite form and when i seen him transform into mastered it didn't hit me it didn't hit all of us the same reaction as we saw it when it, we first saw it because we saw the omen and i thought that was going to be ultra instinct but when he went white hair i mean silver hair now we know goku has mastered ultra instinct but that's also also contradicting itself because if he mastered it how come he can't do it again you know, so it's not technically mastered if you can't redo it. You know what I'm saying? So this form is kind of contradicting. And since it's contradicting, I'm going to give it a... A... Broly! Broly! Kakarot! Kakarot! This form, the homage of Super Saiyan Jing 4, 
This is the humanoid Ozaro form, I guess, if you guys want to call it that. I'm going to call it the wannabe Super Saiyan 4. Because this form is basically the human, uh, yeah, it's self explanatory. It's basically himself being in his regular state, but using the ape form, converting it to himself. So when I seen this, I was like, chill. This separates itself from the other Broly movie. Because when we saw the first Broly movie, he had that blue hair type stuff. And he just, I don't know, it just like, he just jumped into Super Saiyan, like it, that Broly movie, now that I think about it, doesn't make too much sense. <laughs> Seeing this movie, it makes sense because it's just him losing control. He doesn't jump into, he doesn't jump into the Super Saiyan form. So seeing this, I don't know, I loved it, but it's gonna get a, yeah, it's gonna get a B. Now the legendary Super Saiyan itself. Oh my god, this movie is my favorite movie of all time just because of the way the story and it's it, everything about it. Some stuff is also, you know, loopholed and contradicting and some parts were rushed in my own opinion. So much potential, so much story that we can get in the future. So seeing this form, and it's actually canon now, seeing this form being resurrected and Broly being canon now, I'm gonna give this form a B. Why am I giving this a B? No, actually, I'm sorry, I'm gonna give it a C. I love this form, I love Broly, but it's too contradicting. How the hell is a legendary Super Saiyan as strong as God Goku or Blue Goku, Blue Vegeta, God Vegeta, Fused Gogeta? How's he as strong as them? He was able to go into another dimension, riff, and all that stuff. Like, what? How? He's just a Super Saiyan going crazy. So then, if he's going crazy, then why don't we put Trunks in the same level as him? Because Trunks went crazy. He got enraged. And that's this form right here. You know? It's contradicting itself. And he just went, like, he just got so. All right, I understand. Let's, all right, he's a legendary Super Saiyan. So he has so much potential and he's so strong and all that stuff. But he's still not a god. So that just basically throws all those months and episodes of training that Goku did and Vegeta did to be become a god down the toilet because a Super Saiyan just took over. Like, I don't know. That's my own opinion. I'm going to give it a C. I love Broly, but the transformation just doesn't make sense to the power scaling. And I'm not a power scaler, so don't at me on this stuff. But that's my ranking. No Ds because we don't take no Ds, but we give the Ds to the ladies, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and we got two C's and a couple B's, A's, and S's. I hope you guys enjoyed my opinion because this is my opinion. And nowadays, we're not allowed to have your opinion for some reason. But this is my opinion. I hope you enjoy. Yo, cue to my outro.